Hello, BookTube. It's Peg, the Book Prize Addict, back for another talk about a prize. I'm really enjoying looking up a different prize every every month. I've followed them, but this makes me really in tune and see what's going on in the book prize world. I didn't realize there were so many. I keep finding more. Anyway, oh, before I start, I must say, I'm not. this is not a knitting channel anymore. I'm on a knitting slump, but this is a shawl I made during my COVID uh, reading slump. I could knit, so it, it kind of uses every color in the rainbow. It's kind of wild. It's just Stephen West design, if any of you are knitters, and he's a little wild. Uh, okay, today I'm going to talk about the Dalkey Literary Awards, but first of all, I'm going to set it by the fact that there's been a Dalkey Book Festival. Now, Dalkey is a uh, suburb or near Dublin, Ireland, for Irish writers, and a, a well-to-do and very historical area with seven castles, I believe, and a tower. And uh, for, since 2010, they've had a book festival there every June and have speakers and uh, events. It says that all the usual places, pubs, cafes, town hall, medieval graveyard, Secret Garden Marquee in Masonic Lodge. So it's one of those, I guess, it's the book uh, festival is just going on all over town. Uh, and uh, I did, I, I'm going to put in my thumbnail, but I do have like a picture of Dalkey. And this is the tower they're talking about um, that they meet in. It doesn't look like something you meet in, but I don't know. I don't know if it's a tower from James Joyce Ulysses that the men are in on the first chapter or not, but I'd love to go to this. And it's going to be, for sure, the uh, 16th through 19th of June, and they're surely going to have it this year for the first two years, I guess. Um, actually, the book prize itself just started uh, in two years ago, 2020, they decided to have a book prize, a book award for Irish writers. Um, and unfortunately, the last two years have been called off. Uh, they did go ahead with the book prizes, uh, but this time they're really going all out because I think they're going to have it in person. I'd love to go. Oh, oh, any Irish people out there that might be going? Um, okay, so um, as I said, this is for um, writers born or living in Ireland. I don't know how long you have to live there or whatever, but anyway. And they're, I'll put their link to their website, but it's not real ready yet. They haven't put as much work on their website. I guess they're getting ready for the festival. I do have the book list there for uh, last year's and uh, to give you an idea of what kind of books they are. And uh, they have two different categories, emerging writer or debut and a uh, novel of the year. Uh, so I'm just going to take a look. I happen to have some of the books from last year's, uh, one of the, from the Emerging Writer was As You Were by Elaine Feely, and it, and it has won a lot of prizes. I don't think, I'm not sure if it's even published in the U.S. yet. I treated myself around Christmas time to some books uh, that had been published uh, already in England or Ireland, um, and this was one of them, but this is really a wild and crazy book, but interesting uh, in the way it's done. The narrator is a woman in a dilapidated hospital. Um, it's unsure exactly what's wrong with her, but whatever it is, she's not talking about it and hasn't told her family. They just know she's in the hospital. And the hospital has like eight beds, or the room she's in has eight beds. I'm not sure if there might be some men in some, some of them, but it's just a great scene that she sets with the other people, other families come in and visit. It's kind of almost like a little get-together social thing. And uh, it's just so real well done, seen through her eyes. And uh, I, I, I enjoy that kind of thing. Um, I'm not sure I'd like to be in that hospital, though. Okay, so the uh, novel of the year, the one I like best, I also happen to have, was Donald Ryan's Strange Flowers. He has won several other prizes for books, he, novels he's written. He's been on the Booker long list twice for books. And uh, actually, I'm in the process of reading this now, and so I, I can't give you a spoiler, but it's actually um, about an Irish 
family with a 20 year old daughter in rural Ireland somewhere. And she just leaves on the bus one morning and doesn't come back. Now, you know, the whole town is looking for her. They don't know what's happened. I'm not even finished. I'm not even halfway through the book. I'm at that point. I did read, I shouldn't read the book cover, but she does appear five years later. And the question is um, what she brings back and who, so that it changes the family forever. So I haven't got to the coming back part, uh, but, but it's good too. Okay, I'm gonna be back with uh, another book prize tomorrow and hope you guys, some of you guys can go to Dalkey, Ireland for this. I'd love to. Bye.